Oh, happy holidays, everyone. Should I wear this? I just want to put it on. Is it cooler that I'm not wearing it because it's like, ooh, an inanimate object is in the holiday spirit? Or is it like half-assing it because like, bro, wear it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments below if I should put this on. So I'll read them and then put it on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, guys, happy holidays. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then happy whatever the f*** you celebrate. Okay, we're not nitpicking over here. Too many people want to nitpick. Like, yo, Merry Christmas. Just say thanks. I don't give a fuck what you celebrate, okay? If someone says Happy Hanukkah to me, I'm not going to say, I don't celebrate Hanukkah. I'm going to say, thank you so much for accepting me into your culture. Can I get a dreidel? What the fuck is up, you know? So I don't know about you guys, but I celebrate Christmas. And growing up, Christmas was my favorite holiday. It still is my favorite holiday. Just something about the Christmas cheer and like the little nip in the air and making cookies for this fat ass, you know, Santa or whatever waiting for him to come drop off some presents because you know i was a good kid you know and decorating our 168 christmas trees every year christmas decorations are awesome what was that what happened oh yeah i said 168 christmas tree oh you didn't do that yeah oh i didn't do it either i just I stumbled across this video of this this lady i'm the caregiver of all the forest trees in this house that quote squeezes 168 christmas trees into every single inch of her house on a quiet street in tulsa oklahoma in mid-december shay and her husband thomas wake up early as usual can we also get shots of you guys brushing your teeth just a super invasion of privacy it's like we're just supposed to believe that oh we we, we caught them waking up you know on our fourth day filming we just fucking caught them brushing their teeth they didn't notice our full-grown man filming guy but what is not usual is that during the month of december their home becomes a forest on the inside i'm the caregiver of all the forest trees in this house oh my goodness my mom's obsession with christmas trees is overwhelming bitch how you talking about your mom and you look like your mom <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that you can't do that you automatically on her team with everything shay has 168 trees i am insane i mean and i'm the first to admit that this is touches on the basis of insanity she, yo she's kind of sexy low-key low-key chill 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 she's low-key fine i'm just saying the smallest is probably six inches tall and it's a little metal tree. And then the largest is a 12-foot tree. And it uh, has five crates of ornaments. And it takes 12 hours to decorate. Okay, Shay came out with the bougie fluffy coat. Also, was that a cigarette tree? When is this ever needed? And every corner, hallway, and vestibule in Shay's three-bedroom house is home to a tree. There's trees in the laundry room. There's trees in the garage. I haven't got one in a closet yet, but that could happen. Holy shit, this is an investment. Just, you can't even, you can't be related to this lady without being invested in Christmas in the slightest. Imagine this is really your mom. You gotta love Christmas with your entire heart. <laughs> like, you got Christmas trees on the washer and dryer? What the fuck? That's limiting our mobility, mom. Like, how am I supposed to comfortably... This is uncomfortable for a tree to be here. What the fuck? I'd be like, mom, your trick... Put it on the floor, mom. Be crazy, but be reasonable and crazy, mom. The f Looky here. Oh. Even my dog has a tree. It has treats on it, and it's got hot dog weenies on it, so she can just take a bite anytime she wants. <laughs> oh, hold on. No, nah, you didn't even need to do that. That was, un that was unnecessary. There was no reason to do that. <laughs> You're talking about the Christmas trees in your place, lady. She said, get me mouth-to-mouth -mouth feeding my canine, please. <laughs> Put it on the screen. Hold on. <laughs> this, I'm not going to lie. This is a huge turnoff, but she's still kind of fine. Shut up, guys. She even has a tree that hangs upside down in her living room. Charity, Charity, what are you doing? Everything's got to go upside down. It's an upside down tree. Come on, get those things off of there. Are you crazy? Hey, can we speak to your manager multiple times? <laughs> Holy shit, I would not like to catch them at a motherfucker Ross. And that means a minimum of 40 hours of decorating a week. On top of her full-time job as a hairdresser. <laughs> She's a fucking hairdresser. That's why her daughter has the same exact hairstyle. Just imagine, you have all this talent to be a hairdresser, and then your daughter's like, Mom, 
I need a dope hairstyle like yours. What do I, you know, what do I do? And then she was just like, you know, the dopest hairstyles right here, baby. You know, do you want to speak to managers quicker or what the, what's good? No fooling. It's 82 degrees with no heat in this house. Just Christmas lights. Shay and Thomas turn off their heating system no matter how low the temperature drops outside. December and January, we don't even need to use the heat to heat the house. It's all done by the uh, decorations inside the house. Yeah, you have probably close to half a million mini little light bulbs in your house. Duh. Why is he? He's got the fucking calculator out like as if like he just crunched the numbers right now. You better have a warm house with all these goddamn lights on. 168 tree, bro. It all started when she was a little girl and her father brought home the family's very first tree. This is my dad's tree. It's over 25 years old. He, I found it in his basement after he passed away. I know it's an ugly tree. Oh, shit. Have I been roasting this lady and she loves Christmas because her dad got her to love Christmas? But it's still real dear to my heart. We didn't have a lot of money, but we had a lot of Christmas. Sadly, a lot of Shay's Christmas cheer was lost when her parents passed away. And she oh, both her parents she has since lost touch with her siblings. The love that I have for my trees is, is an extension of what I'm missing without the family being in my life. Sorry. Right. No, I, I mean, it's not even that weird when you think about it. Like, you put up as many trees as you want, Shay, you know? Put up more trees, actually. You need more trees. I was just thinking, like, 168, like, go bigger, you know? You know you got room over here. All of Shay's tree family are artificial because she believes that real fir trees can pose a fire hazard. Oh, what? No way. Oh, like, almost 200 trees with all these lights? A fire hazard? Psh, no way. I would have never thought that. My mind is so blown. And just like she did with her daughter and grandchildren, Shay keeps photo albums of her trees to document their growth over the years. We have a small fish tree. All right, no, nah, you lost me, Shay. You lost me, bro. The vest is clean. The vest is fucking dope, so let's just say that. You look like the librarian at Whoville or some shit. The trees grow with you, and then you have photo albums. As more trees move in, some things have to move out, including Thomas's car, Baby. This is normally where we like to park our baby, and uh, but unfortunately right now we... Uh, we're parking our trees out here so i was kind of oh shit no nah. see i was wondering you know i was like what's up with this guy like what's up with this relationship and there it is this woman's got a golden vagina for sure diamond plated vagina certified bro this she does some winter wonderland shit in the bedroom holy I have to take this fence up and move it out of the way every time that we want to drive the car my man's just lifted the entire fence, bro. The entire fence to, to back his car out for some Christmas trees. That's love. Also really inconvenient. Okay, Shay, come on, bro. I was told about her obsession with the Christmas trees by several of her friends when we first met, and, and she told me about it and warned me about it, but I, I was not uh, prepared. Holy shit, is that too much Christmas cheer? I'm not even trying to roast her. Is that a lot, or is there is there a level? Because I always thought there was no such thing as a, as a, as a ceiling on Christmas cheer. Nah, that's the fucking ceiling. <clears throat> 168 Christmas tree. How does it get to 50? <laughs> that's crazy. And you know what? That's some white people shit right here. This is... If you've ever heard the phrase, like, over here, other people saying, that's some white people shit, and you're like, and you yourself are white, maybe, and you're just like, I don't even know what that means. Like, what is some white people shit? But this. Let me end this video and put this hat on, just so I can get a, should I get the thumbnail? Anyways, guys, I, I don't know. I just saw this shit, and I was like, ah, damn, like, chill. What do you think? You think this is too far? What, what, how many trees do you think the limit is? 50, 10, one fucking tree let me know if you're still listening that means you're a true you're a true supporter of me right uh, i started a podcast the smd podcast i'm gonna link it below uh dropped the first episode yesterday last night or something i think check it out i'm gonna be talking about a lot of stuff politics pop culture just controversial stuff usually stuff that people don't really like to state an opinion on i don't know i think you'll like it. uh if you're new here subscribe also hit the motherfucking bell baby you know what i'm saying uh comment missile ho down below because my girl shay here is for sure a missile ho until next time that's all i got for today man my name is michael 
thoughts off for now. And uh, yeah, all right. Peace. Ooh, ooh, hey, y'all. One, two, hey, y'all.